Ten years after the release of The Fast and the Furious, the franchise is still going strong, having grossed nearly a billion dollars worldwide. It's also shown that it probably isn't going anywhere anytime soon because the fourth movie actually made the most money. That movie, Fast and Furious, reunited the entire cast of the original and resulted in what I think was the best film in the series. So now we're on to the fifth installment, Fast Five, and director Justin Lin, who has directed all the films from Tokyo Drift on, thankfully realizes that what ain't broke don't need fixing. Ultimately, Fast Five boils down to the fact that it knows exactly what it is. Rather than try something different, it uses the idea that bigger is better. With The Rock joining the cast, I mean that literally. Adding to the idea that worked in the fourth movie, several more cast members from the past are reintroduced, such as Ludacris and Tyrese from Too Fast, Too Furious. None of them actually bring anything new to the table, each movie has interchangeable characters for the most part, but they do have good chemistry, which is important. Surprisingly, the movie pretty much ditches the street racing angle that the franchise has become known for, and instead becomes a heist film, not unlike the Ocean's movies. Having to believe that these characters are suddenly geniuses capable of ripping off the most powerful man in Rio is a bit of a stretch, but the movie seems to agree. Fast Five thankfully doesn't take itself seriously, and the end result is a fun action film that revels in the ridiculous. From near-gravity defying stunts to just being downright lucky, it knows its purpose is to entertain, and it does just that for a hundred minutes. Unfortunately, Fast Five is a not-so-fast 130 minutes, meaning there's a bit too much fake drama for my liking. Still, it's hard to argue with the fact that this is a smartly crafted action flick that specializes in climaxes. The fight scene between Vin Diesel and The Rock is pretty good. The last 20 minutes of pure destruction are brilliantly directed, and the surprise after the first round of credits will definitely please fans. Really, it would be easy for a movie with so much testosterone to get lost. Thankfully, it isn't afraid to stop and ask Justin Lin for some direction. B.